I started doing it in 93 when I was coaching with the Baltimore Orioles. And, uh, uh, I had, Johnny Oates had done it for Frank Robinson when he was the manager and Johnny was real, he was definitely real particular about things and he asked me to do it. He said, but you got to do it neat. So I made sure I, I outdid Johnny Oates. But my philosophy and everything in life is whatever you do, do it to the very best of your ability. If you dig a ditch, be the best ditch digger in the world. So it's Trivial as a lineup card is, I try to do it great. And they're, uh, I think they're shocked by, by a coach would take time to, to do something so neat, but uh, it's a lot of fun and guys get a kick out of it and I think they like it. Uh, I, the one uh, card that stands out to me and the one that I've saved is when I was managing the Reds and uh, George W. Bush came in throughout the first pitch and uh, but he uh, personalized it and I autographed my lineup card and that's one that's on my wall and I'll keep forever. I put the umpires in blue every day, I put the left-hand hitters in red, I put the uh, right-handed hitters in black, and switch hitters that go in either green or blue. Like the 4th of July, I always do that in red, white, and blue. Or in spring training, St. Patty's Day, it all goes in green. A Cinco de Mayo, I'll probably do green and red, too. It's a couple, and I still mess up, you know, like the first day of spring training this year, I think I spelled uh, Pollock, P-O-L-L-A-C-K. Thomas, I had an H in there, Tomas. So that's one reason I take the vowels out too, just in case I misspell something. It, it was just a way of shortening it. But if it's a guy that uh, has had a career, definitely going in the Hall of Fame, I put his whole name in there. It's gotta be a ticket punched Hall of Famer to get all your vowels. I've had a couple people ask me about wedding invitations, but I haven't done any yet. One thing that I kind of miss doing though is, uh, you know, I used to always find a kid after a game and, and uh, by the dugout and I would always give, it, give them away. If we have a player debut or their first win or their first hit or something, I make sure they get the card. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna give them that card. They wanna keep it, you know, as a, a keepsake. You know, it looks nice and it's not real sloppy. And uh, I know for Torrey's first major league game here and uh, a couple weeks ago against the Giants, he's already got his framed and uh, it makes me feel pretty good that uh, that'll be on his wall the rest of his life. That's the best.